Okay, meet Janice. Now, Janice wants to look more youthful, but there are currently three hair mistakes that are standing in her way. Okay, now, if you're a veteran of the series, won't you go ahead and comment below and let me know if you can pinpoint the exact mistakes that I'm currently seeing. However, if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Justin Hickox. I've been doing hair since 1995, and this series is very simple. I help people solve their hair struggles so that they can get a more youthful look, and it's all based on an email that they send me. So, why don't we read Janice's email? My name is Janice and I'm 69 years old. This is my natural color that grew out during COVID. I have had high and low lights in the past. My hair is fine, straight, no body. After blow drying with roller brush and curling iron, it goes flat shortly after. I race rock as exercise, so would like something that is easy to take care of, but don't want to look so flat headed. Is that even possible with my hair texture? I'm open to coloring once again. Thank you. Okay, now mistake number one is that the length primarily in the back actually, is just a little bit too long. Now, if you look at this profile shot, you'll see that the back length actually kind of starts to dip down. It looks a little bit longer than the front. And the concern with this is that it brings your eye down the shape and back towards the floor. And this really kind of drags Janice's profile down a lot. Now, there's kind of a part B to this mistake, which is also that it's overlayered a little bit at the bottom. And you can really see that right under the ear here at the very, like near her shoulder. Now, the concern with that is that it doesn't support length very well, so if her hair would actually get longer with this kind of layering, it would look very thin at the bottom, even though she has quite a bit of hair. So for me, I would say what we need to do is bring that length up. And as soon as we bring that length up, it's going to not only correct the concern of it dragging down in the back, but it'll also correct a lot of the layering because you'll be cutting a lot of that layering off. So if we did actually bring that length up a little bit, this is what that would look like. Now, as you can see, this isn't a massive difference in length. In fact, from the front, you wouldn't even notice a change in length. But from the back, we really start to bring the eye up the shape and start to lift Genesis' profile up, which is very important. And as you can also see, while we haven't completely erased the layering at the bottom because it would actually take more length to totally take it away, we have put a dent in that concern, if you will, and started to make this look a little bit thicker. Now, oftentimes what I tell people in the salon is, if they are struggling with the concern of it being overlayered at the bottom like this, then we have to balance how much length we take off versus correcting the problem and getting a result that is kind of creating another problem, which may be that it's too short. So we kind of want to balance those two concerns. And a simple way to do this is to simply bring that length up a little bit like we've done in this photo. And then next time we let that grow and we do the same thing. We bring that length back up. We don't overlayer the bottom. We don't even touch the layering at the bottom. And that addresses this concern. That is mistake number one. Let's move on to mistake number two. The layers in the back on the top are actually too short for the layering in the front. Now, this is very noticeable in this profile photo. If you take a look at this, you'll see that the layers in the back being shorter than the shortest part of the layers in the front almost creates kind of a bob look from the side. It's kind of like you have a little bit of a bob on the top and then you have the rest of the hair that just kind of hangs there. And the biggest concern with this is not only does it kind of just not really flow well or make sense, but it also pushes all the hair forward. When you add layering in the back, it's gonna have a tendency to push that hair forward. And with the front being a little bit too long, it's going to end up looking like a point of bulk in the front. So this is gonna make it very hard for Janice, for instance, to style this back off of her face. What I always say as a rule of thumb is the layers in the front need to be at minimum as long as the layers in the back, but no longer. So I would typically take them actually a little bit shorter than the layers in the back. And that has a tendency to flow very well, both from the front angle as well as from the profile, but also it doesn't have a tendency to seem so heavy. So yes, if we were to actually take the front layers a little bit shorter to kind of catch them up with the layering in the back, this is what that would look like. Now, as you can see, this goes a long way to addressing that concern of that bob shape. We no longer have the look from the profile of a bob shape at all. Now this actually looks, well, it's not finished yet, so stick with me, but it starts to look a lot more flowy, I guess, if you will. It makes more sense. And I don't really know another way of explaining it other than you just looking at it and saying, yeah, I kind of guess it makes more sense. I could have done better with that, I feel like. But you get my point, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I always say, like I said, keep that front layer a little bit shorter and you should be good. Now, <laughs> let's move on to mistake number three, which I think is actually 
one of the biggest concerns and one of the reasons or causes of the majority of Janice's struggles is that her hair is not texturized enough. <laughs> okay, so follow me on this because I know that there's a lot of you out there that might be very concerned about texturizing hair. It's kind of like a bad word in some cases. But if you remember in Janice's email, she said that her hair is very fine and flat. But in reality, what's going on is that she's got a lot of fine hair. Now, I know for many people, they think, well, fine hair must be lighter, so therefore it must be kind of easier to get lift in. But it doesn't really work that way. When there's a lot of it, and if you have this texture, you know what I'm talking about, it's very hard to get volume in it. In fact, it can do exactly what Janice is describing here, which is lay very flat and heavy and even make yourself question whether or not that texture of hair can get volume. And the truth is it can. Now, if you look at the profile photo here on Janice, you'll notice that the layering looks a bit choppy. It's almost like it's just kind of like very blunt and edgy, if you will. Now, the concern with that is that it creates just kind of an overall choppy, almost unfinished look, if that makes sense. But in reality, all we need to do is texturize those ends a bit, and it'll go a long way to not only blending all of those layers in so it looks overall a lot smoother. Yes, you would still be able to get movement and texture out of it, but it wouldn't look so choppy. But also, that added texturizing lightens that hair up a little bit and gives it the ability to get volume and shape. The surprising thing is with fine textures where you have a lot of it, you can actually get away with a more or at least more thinning or texturizing. They are two separate things, but both of them or even individually, they can be done to create a lot more volume. Yes, they have to be done right. And yes, they can be done wrong and make a whole world of issues. But as a whole, it can be done, I promise. So if we did actually go through and texturize and lighten up Janice's overall hair style that she's currently wearing, this is what that would look like. Now, as you can see, not only does the shape look a lot smoother and blend a lot better, but she's getting a lot more volume and it's much easier for it to get it back off of her face, kind of get shaped into a style that's a bit more youthful and flattering for her. And all of that really had to do with the texturizing. But now that you've seen what these mistakes are individually, why don't we dive into it before and after and kind of see where we've come from and where we've landed. Okay, so before we ever addressed any of these concerns, this is where we were, and this is where we ended up. Now, this is still basically the exact same length from the front here that uh, she had in the very beginning. So it really wouldn't feel shorter to her at all. But what you're noticing is that by letting those layers in the back get a little bit longer and or shortening the layers of in front so that they match with the layers in the back better, it's actually able to come off her face a little bit better. It lightens it up a little bit more and you combat or combine, <laughs> not combat, you combine that with texturizing and lightening up the overall shape. And while it's basically the exact same haircut, it's very similar to what she started with. These changes are very minor it makes a world of a difference in the end result. And that's where we wanted to land. But speaking of end results, why don't we show you some curveballs? I didn't want to get totally crazy. It's not that she doesn't have options. It's that I wanted to do something that I thought would be very different for her, while at the same time still kind of keeping it somewhat comfortable from where she's at currently. And so this is what I came up with. <laughs> okay, now, before I kind of mentioned that texturizing and lightening up the layers with through texturizing and or thinning would do a lot to give it a lot more lift and movement. And if I'm, well, for me, I guess, I shouldn't speak for you, but for me, I think that's what was lacking in her current shape. I think she needs more movement and texture and kind of fun. And if I'm completely honest, even when I showed you the after of the last mistakes, right, of the all three mistakes, if we had kind of addressed them all, it's still a little bit kind of almost too contrived, in my opinion. I do like the look, but I think more fun, more texture, more movement, more kind of just playfulness in general does a lot for Janice. So I think this really kind of speaks to that. While it's a very similar overall haircut to what she's currently got, it's just a lot more fun and playful, in my opinion. But you know how this goes. Can I sidestep this one second? That view does not suck. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I can see it in the monitor ahead of you, so that's why, yeah. Anyway, but I want to know what you think. <laughs> Tell me below, comment, and let me know 
what do you think she should do? Do you think she should go for this uh, kind of craziness? Or do you think she should just uh, kind of stick with what she's got and maybe follow my ideas for the three concerns? This is windy out here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sit here in the wind and be cold and uh, enjoy that view. And I will see you next Tuesday. You have a fantastic week. We'll see you next week. Bye. Yeah. It's not terrible. I'm not going to lie.